Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we are going to be attempting to bring down a Yamatsukami, because that's our urgent for advancing to the next tier of G-Rank, and we've got different gear, because I know that Yamatsukami's got a one-hit kill attack, and I didn't want to get one-hit killed, so I went and made an armor set and upgraded a weapon so that we could have almost as much offensive power as we did before, but also have guts. Without sacrificing much in the way of defense. Like, we are, I think, 13 points lower on defense? That's not huge. So yeah, we are about as ready for this as we can be. And if this doesn't work out, then I'm gonna have to consider some different things. Also, I upgraded my armor charm to an armor talon, finally. Don't know why it took me so long. Actually, what I should do, should buy a new armor charm. And, uh, then I should actually get my charms into my inventory. Did I just put it in my inventory just there? I did! Good. Good job, me. You you did it. Uh, is my power charm in here? Do I have a power charm? There we go. I've also got Trank Bombs, because I hear that they can interrupt one of its attacks. I believe the same one that's also a one-hit kill. And yeah, we're about as ready for this Yamatsukami as we can be. So let's get to it. Be my first time fighting this thing solo. My first time fighting it where I could actually make any real difference. Certainly an interesting design. One must wonder why it hasn't returned since this game. And apparently its music plays even in base camp and we don't have inventory space. But that's okay, I can make some right now. Because I brought these. Well, that was a sudden ending to the music. And as much as I want the rations, I think we'll have to just deal without. And there's no bed here. Er, there is a bed. Good. We can get that 10 HP back. Though admittedly, I probably shouldn't be spending time on this. Also, it saddens me that our cat can't come along for this. There's a lot of quests that your cats aren't allowed to come along. Which is kind of disappointing. Because, I mean, you spend so much time raising them so that they can help you out. But then there's certain quests where they're not allowed to? What's the deal with that? Though I guess you are supposed to be doing this in a group of players, which is decidedly not what I'm doing. So, I guess it's my fault. And we get to climb this Dern Tower. And considering that repelling Yamatsukami is not an option, you have to kill it. That's probably going to be the major determining factor if I don't get completely murdered on this quest. Is, yeah, the what determines whether or not I succeed is going to be how much damage I'm doing and how much damage I'm taking. Because if I get myself killed, well then I'm not going to succeed. But if I don't kill it, then I'm also not going to succeed. Though it does have some indicators as for how well you're doing. 
from what I've read, it falls down three times during the quest. And those are tied to HP thresholds. Hey, buddy. You gonna get over here ever? Yeah, between this weapon and attack up small, I'm only out about 50 raw from where I was with my other hammer. So offensively, we're not doing so bad, though I may need to focus a little bit more on offense if we are to succeed here, if what I have now ends up not being enough. Also, I need to make sure I actually score hits. I have no idea what kinds of moves this guy uses. I've only ever faced off against it once. So a lot of the moves, I'm probably going to be taking hits, like that one. I'm pretty sure these tendrils are his weak points. Get a look at those chompers. Yamatsukami's teeth are among his most unique aspects. At least he's kind enough to actually let us get a full triple pound. Or two. I mean, if you're just going to let me. Uh-oh. And that's the one-hit kill move. Nice little chompy teeth. Yeah, we need to not get hit by that. So now we know that when he just slams... Oh, I got slapped. When he just slams his two tendrils down, he might go into that. So we need to watch for that. I also need to not dodge into that because that's just going to ruin my guts require me to be above 64 HP. Okay. This is potentially a problem. Looks like he's not doing his suck attack this time, though. Unfortunately, we don't really have reach. Ow. This theme's pretty okay. Dang. Didn't manage to score the hit with the golf swing. Okay, so... I'm guessing... Well, I mean, he's either going to or he's going to not. Is there any way to tell what his plan is? Because if there is, that's probably an important part of the fight, is just learning how to tell. Oh. And we've run out of walkway over there. That's less than ideal. But I'm guessing that when he slams down with his arms out as well, that means that he's just not going to do the suck attack. Which is totally fine by me. I don't mind when he's doing things that I know are safe. In fact, as long as he does things that I know are safe, well, then I'm safe. Maybe he only does... Nope. Thank goodness Guts can work multiple times in this game. Because in later games, it only kicks in once per quest. 
which is certainly not often enough. Um, oh, he's yelling thunderbugs at me. That's a thing he can do. So let's get rid of these thunderbugs. They are going to be a huge nuisance if we don't... Ow. That's a lot of fun. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Where? Where? Nope. Didn't manage to get the trank done. And now the thunderbugs are probably going to kill me. Or at least they're going to try. Ow! Okay, we need him to not do the big suck this time. Well, hey, I think all the, the thunderbugs are done exploding now. That is going to make things a little easier. Why do you got to hang out out of my reach? Such a jerk move there, buddy. Yeah, being in my reach like that, that's just fine. Because you may not know this, but I've actually got a time limit here, and I need to kill you within it, so... If you could just cooperate, help me reach my goal, I would be thankful. Yeah. I feel like co-op... Whoa, what is... That's a thing you can do? So how am I supposed to use the anti-dragon bombs? Am I supposed to, like, jump down on top of him when he falls? Is that it? That seems like that would be it. Oh, of course, the golf swing misses. Can we maybe not with the whole fire fart thing? That's Gravios' deal. Apparently I hit something with the super pound there. And yet not that. Okay, I misread that. I was thinking a fire fart was coming, but this is fine. We can rack up some good damage there. But now we need health again. Because we gotta stay over that 65 threshold. And he is yelling thunderbugs at us again. This is fine. Ow. This is suddenly less fun. Okay. Ow. Nope. He's he's gonna suck, isn't he? Yep. He's gonna suck. I need to escape, not get hit by thunderbugs. Jumping down is a good escape, by the way. I mean, sure, it takes a little bit of time to get back up. But at least you're safe when you're down here. Also, when you leave the area, it despawns any thunderbugs. So, this isn't a total negative. In fact, it's a decent amount positive. Yeah, just two load screens to get back, and they're not even long ones. So maybe it's the eyes that tell you what he's going to do. Could that be it? Looks like that. Well, if that is it, then red eyes don't mean bad. And he's yelling the thunderbags back out. That's not my favorite. These things are annoying. They're 
Wait, what? What is what is going on? Ow. Am I supposed to just jump off the edge to dodge that, or am I supposed to, like, Superman dive with good timing? What am I supposed to do? Don't you explode on me. Ow. Well, hey, that's all tentacles down, which means we just get to do damage. Oh, hey, we got the Thunderbug. Oh, he fell. So, if we jump off... Okay. I guess... What? Why did I fall through him? Huh? Why'd I fall through? Did I do something wrong? I don't know how this monster works. Will he still be there when we get down? Or b back up, rather? Do we still have a chance? No, we don't still have a chance. But hey, that's one of three. Okay, I guess his little mustache managed to poke us. That's fine. But yeah, we've knocked him down one of three times. We're less... Well, we're right around a quarter of the way through the quest. Actually, a little bit past a quarter of the way through the quest. If we can speed up our damage output by even a little, then we might have a chance here. So the eyes are red, so... Well, I guess we're not going to find out whether or not he's going to try to suck. That's actually fine by me. If we don't find out, that means that we don't have anything to worry about. Dang it. If I was positioned better, we might have gotten at least one hit there. Yeah. I just need him to do more stuff where I can follow it up with my own attacks. And then I need to actually be able to take advantage of that follow-up. Ow. I need to learn exactly where he puts his hands when he does this. Because if I can dodge it, then I can get two full rounds of this in without any question. Which is better than missing with the golf swing, considering the golf swing is the most damaging hit. Okay, so this is, I'm guessing, going to be the one with the suck. No? Then I just straight up don't know what this guy does. I don't know his tells. I do know that I'm in a bad position. And I know that I need to make more Mega Potions. I wonder, if I was to try and just attack his mouth there... Would anything useful happen? Okay, just one Thunderbug left. Looks like it's trying to boom. Yep. Tried to ruin his teeth. Ow. Okay, need health. Need health pretty bad. Need Thunderbugs to not be jerks. Might be a bit much to ask. I know it's kind of their lot in life. Oh, 
Oh, you're you're bringing more, are you? I'm just gonna hit you right in the gums, then. Ow. Uh-oh. Okay. Seems Superman diving probably isn't the solution to that attack. It prob- Oh, you know what? I've got a duck button. Maybe that's the solution. Yeah, the solution may just be remembering that ducking is something hunters can do. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. Okay, his eyes have changed color. What does that mean? Does that mean something? I should have brought the rations instead of the mini wets. That's what I should have done. Okay. Um, this has potential. His eyes aren't red. No, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to use that. I was trying to scroll through, but I accidentally tapped instead of holding. That's not something that you. Ow. That's not a mistake that you can make in the PSP version. Okay. And we're dead. And this is why they give life powders, because you can actually save people during this. In the item box, that is. They give life powders. Or a life powder. But we don't get to see the item box again unless I take myself a trip back to base. And I shouldn't have used that just there. That's like the whole reason I brought Mega Nutrients, so that I could give myself more health after dying. Needed to remember that I did that. So I'm not going to try the whole using Trinks anymore. Because if that does help, then I don't know the timing or positioning to throw it. So, yeah, the, that's not a thing I'm going to do. Maybe it keeps him from getting the blue eyes? Like, maybe it calms him down so that he won't want to do the suck? If you use it before the suck happens? That's my best guess. Dang it. Of all the times to get caught spinning, it's got to be when I could hit him in the gums. Ow. Not very ow, though. That did hardly anything. Ow. I dodged into where he was going to put that. Good job, me. So his eyes are red. As far as I can tell, that means good things. But I need to focus on just keeping my health only high enough for guts to work. Because any higher is really just wasted healing. And I, again, still need to actually score hits instead of just swinging at the air. Oh, you're doing this. Time to hammer them teeth. Those teeth look wooden. Which, considering the rest of this monster isn't exactly a surprise. Sweet, got rid of two. Now, if only that would have gotten rid of the one that it hit. Okay, that one's going to explode. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like his arms, at least routinely, go to where they're hittable, so maybe if I hang out near those instead of near the face tentacles, we'd be doing better. Because, yeah, the face tentacles like to go too far away to be hit. Okay, eyes are red. Going to assume that means safe. Eyes are no longer red. So if I toss a Trank at him... What if I toss a Trank in there now? Ow. Ow. Eyes are not red, assuming this means danger. Assumption seems correct. Safety reached. Though the more I come down here, the more time we're spending not attacking him, which certainly isn't going to help us kill him faster. Because I do believe the clock might be our biggest enemy here. That and also my dwindling healing supplies. Not to say I don't have any, but they're dwindling. So I'm guessing he was down there because he did like some kind of slam attack. I mean, it sounded like he did some kind of slam attack. Okay, that seems like the kind of thing that we want. Now let me land on him. Yeah! So, here we've got some damage coming. Now, can I get anywhere else on this guy? Like anywhere I can attack from or carve from? I guess we can carve. Something tells me we should get off. Okay, it doesn't hurt to get thrown off. That's good. So that's two knockdowns of what should be three, if my research is correct. And we are at 2501, so just halfway through. And hopefully those two el er, anti-dragon bombs we used will help speed up the appearance of knockdown number three. If that does happen, then we've probably got a decent shot of bringing him down in time as long as we don't get brought down ourselves. Eyes are not red. This is danger, one assumes. Though it looks like maybe it's not. Okay, it's not anything to do with the eye color then. What does the eye color mean? Do they go red when he's enraged, or do they, do they go blue when he's enraged? Judging by the damage we just took, I'm guessing blue means rage. Uh-oh. Ow. Darn mustache. Okay, we need to... Oh, he's yelling. Well, then I need help. Ow. I need to not dodge into that so often. That is a pretty good source of damage for us. Of incoming damage, which is the type of damage we need to not find good sources for. Okay, I'm high enough health for guts to work. Thunderbug. Ow. Okay, I need to have me a little drinky poo or else guts won't work. Now we've got enough health. Time for some smacking.
thing. I was really hoping it would have been floating within our range, but nope. That's a good flinch. Means we don't have to learn whether or not he was trying to suck us up. So it looked like that slam came out a little faster. Maybe if it comes out fast, that means he's trying to suck us up. That's my best guess now. Now that the eye color theory has been disproven. Yeah, that was maybe slowish. Okay. Getting flinches is always good. Though that time I felt fairly certain that he was not going to suck us up. Gonna make this guy need to see a dentist. Ow. Don't you explode on me. Okay, I think... No, we can heal up here. That's fine. Okay. Healing up here suddenly seems like perhaps not the greatest idea we've ever had. Okay, far from it. Far from the greatest idea we've ever had. Let's jump down. So if we stay down here, he's going to slam down. At least I believe so. Didn't get a chance to see it, though. Okay, one more of these will have us in functional guts territory. As long as we have at least two, or a little bit more than two potions worth of health, we actually can have guts activate. So that's all we truly need is between two and three potions worth of health. Slam your things down. Yeah, like that. Now, no munchies. You know, when I read that this guy would fall down, I had imagined that he would fall down all the way to the bottom rather than sticking his tentacles out and getting stuck part way down. But I guess what I imagined about this guy was not accurate. Also, thank you, Guts. So, two regular potions and an herbal med is actually enough to get us into Guts territory. So, let's go for that. Just need to make sure we don't take damage going for the herbal med. And there we go. Guts can kick in again. Takes seven herbal meds to get us into that territory, so we need to not take too many more hits or else we will run out of healing options which is about as much of a death sentence as anything can be I do like when he slams down all of his tentacles because if we dodge that we just get free hits Of course, if we don't dodge it, we take a lot of damage. Dang it. So, two potions will do us, but if we let some recovery happen, which we might have time for, Looks like, or sounds like he's summoning Thunderbugs now anyway, so we're getting rid of those as well as being cowards. 
Now, if we let a little bit of health recover here, then that means that we might be able to get away with just using the one potion. So I'm just going to wait for the red to go away. Shouldn't take too long. Though it sure feels like it does when you're just sitting there watching it. Go away. Stop being red. Okay. And then I'm just going to use one of these to be super safe, though. Yeah, now we're totally fine. Because, yeah, our health bar is currently at a capacity of 150. Of which we need 64 for Guts to work. So we need about two-fifths. Slightly more than two-fifths of it to be full. At any given time. Well, I dodged, just not into the right place. Really? Just one hit before the flinch? Are you for reals right now? I didn't have to dive, but sure feels safer when I do. And that time we got the dodge we needed. Of course, we missed the golf swing. Do need a bit more health. But I'm just going to use a couple of these herbal meds. Because they're what we've got. Though I'm not going to use them during this. Because this is damage time. And we need to take all the damage time we can get. Thankfully, it seems this guy's... Everything we can hit is pretty soft. So, at least we're doing good damage when we're doing damage. Oh, he can slap with his back tentacles too, can he? I shouldn't run around while charging because that leaves me vulnerable to slaps. And that is the final knockdown, again, if my research is correct. So, yeah, is carving all I can do here? Because he looks a little high up to actually attack. And in fact, I know he's a little high up to actually attack. And I mean, I'm cool with carving. I just want to do more damage. Does carving do damage? I doubt it. Looks like we need to sharpen, so can do that in the hallway on our way back. So let's sharpen. Still got two regular potions and six herbal meds, which are enough to make us able to survive something through guts actually only one more time there's because that's that's 120 hit points worth of healing and guts leaves us with one and we need to be at 64 so yeah that puts us two points of healing shy of where we want to be in order to survive two more things that's not great. Well, actually, if we die, then that'll give us a full load of hit points. So I need to view that one card I have left as potential healing.
But as far as time goes, if we keep damaging him at the rate that we've done so far, we should actually succeed without much trouble. So yeah, this is just a fight about whether or not we're going to cart again at this point. Can't really see much here, but we're doing damage. That much I can see. Uh-oh. Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Jump. Jump off. Can't jump off with weapon out in this game. This is not Gen 4. Okay, is... As much as I want to attack him right now, I can't run the risk. Okay. Guts is re-enabled. I need to not run around charging up. That's just asking to get killed. Or at least asking to lose health, which is basically the same deal. Shut that yap. I don't want to deal with these thunderbugs. I just want to deal with these arms of yours. Hey, got the Thunderbug and the Golf Swing during the flinch. Again, need to not run around charging up. Need to not ask for more damage than I need. Need to not swing at the air. At least where I can not swing it here. Okay, looks like he's not going to inhale this time. I'm pretty sure I'm doing less damage over here than I would on the tendrils, but damage is damage, and I gots to do it. You know I don't like it when you yell at me, mister. isn't good. He just took damage, which means that chances are we're out of Guts territory. So I'm just going to go ahead and drink this right here. Looks like he's not inhaling this time. So we just got to do our damage. plus side of being over here. If he starts to inhale, we can see it. Because we need to just not take that if we can avoid it. That's really going to be key for us here. Eight minutes left. We can maybe do it. It's not impossible. Especially not if I take a couple hits here and there, or rather give a couple hits here and there, where the opportunity arises. Need to not run around charging up. 
Can't get too greedy. So if I get too greedy, I'm going to fail this. Just straight up. Nice to get a flinch when he's not in the middle of something. Means I'm less likely to get a flinch from that part when he is trying something. Which means that his period of vulnerability might last the full duration, which is precisely what I want. Because that means that I get to do the most damage possible. Hey, we managed to hit a tendril. And got a flinch, so we don't have to find out whether or not he wanted to suck us up. Slamming all four down. Ooh, yay! I was going to say slamming all four down is good because it means that he stays down for a long time and we know we're safe. Okay, now I need to get down there and carve him. So, camera, please. I don't want to skip this. There we go. So, the fact that his little fringe is still moving around seems a little disconcerting to me. Makes me question whether or not we actually killed him. How many carps are we going to get? And are they all going to be Elder Dragon Blood? Okay, good. Oh. Them teeth. Yeah, the this fringe. It needs to stop being so wavy when he's dead. Okay. Got plenty of stuff. That's nice. What did we break? Hooray! Now I'm allowed to do any quest in the game. Because HR9, as far as I'm aware, is the max requirement for any quest. I can't necessarily post any quest in the game yet, but that'll come. Yeah, I did do that. Okay. Thanks. And that is it for this episode. Join us next time when we get started on G3. See you then, friends.